Navy gun camera films of carrier aircraft striking Jap installations in the Rio Kews. Shipping and harbor facilities are hit in daily neutralization sorties north and south of Okinawa. Japanese aircraft headed for attacks on American fleet units. From the beginning of the Okinawa operations to 2nd June, more than 1,400 enemy planes have been destroyed. These are additional scenes during the height of the kamikaze raids around Okinawa. Carriers and other surface vessels barely escaped Jap planes plunging through heavy akak. elements taking part in these actions is the Bunker Hill, flagship of Vice Admiral Mitcher's fast carrier task force. Following the suicide attacks, Navy aircraft return to their carriers from the rocket and strafing runs. One plane drops its belly tank. Pilot is rescued and hoses go to work on the burning craft. Spraying fomite on the exploded gas tank. The smoking ship in the distance is the Bunker Hill. She's been hit twice by suicide planes on the morning of 11th May. Fires and exploding ammunition sweep her decks. Men who were blown over the side of the carrier or escaped from burning planes by jumping overboard are picked up by whale boats. Then they're taken aboard a DD, which has quickly come to the rescue. Other destroyers and the cruiser Wilkesbury are alongside the Bunker Hill, playing their hoses on the flaming CV. The 27,000-ton Essex-class carrier was first hit by a Zeke, which dropped a 500-pound delayed action bomb and then crashed among 34 planes ready for takeoff on the flight deck. Seconds later, a Judy let go another 500-pounder, which penetrated the after-flight deck and exploded in the gallery deck immediately below. The Judy crashed at the base of the ship's island superstructure. Casualties number 373 killed, 264 wounded, 19 missing. The fire is brought under control in four hours and the Bunker Hill is able to sail home under her own power. <laughs>